the Sapphire Time category has a lot of different, very interesting plugins that as an editor using Media Composer, you won't find yourself using all that often. Um, many times just because it's the things that you want to do with speed ramps and such in Media Composer you can do um, under the Time Warp category. But um, there are some interesting stylistic plugins in here that are worth pointing out. And I want to start with feedback and trails. Uh, just, and I won't spend a lot of time on this, but I just want to show you what they can do just because you can do some really fun stylistic stuff with it that would maybe interest you. So um, grab feedback and drop that on a clip. And what's interesting about feedback is that you actually have to play it in order to see the effect just because of the way that it's uh, built. But you can see that it creates sort of this feedback of copies of the image as it plays. So that's something to consider. And then um, once you go into your effect editor, you can play with you know, how much is it uh, and how much of those trails are, are peeling off on the side and such. One thing to be aware of once again here is on the top and the bottom we've twisted the image. So we do have the option down here to wrap once again, reflect, And maybe we want to tone that down a little bit. You can change your fade, make it a lot lower so it looks more normal. And then you can play with the hue shift in the picture as well. And see how the hue shifts after the trails are made. So it's a very cool effect. Another one that I want to show you is trails, S trails. Um, it produces a similar similar looking effect where it sort of gives you that that feedback from previous frames as the footage goes by. You can only see it whenever you actually play the footage. Um, you can play with your previous brightness and you can tint the, uh, the previous frames in the image as well to create some interesting looks. And you also have your blending modes here as well. You can change the way that the uh, previous frames are blended. Notice how I, I tinted this sort of yellow. And um, so whenever the max combined mode is turned on, those yellow frames are what are sort of peeling off of the edges there. So that's kind of cool. You can do some neat stuff with this. And since we're talking about feedback and trails, I also want to mention time average because it creates a similar look um, where it's sampling um, frames before and frames after the current frame to create this sort of blurred feedback image that's very cool. And if you want to sort of increase or decrease the intensity of it, you can change this average over frame. You know, you can cut that in half to five and you can see now it's not quite as strong, but, um, and then you can play with the brightness of the previous and um, upcoming frames here. If I bump that up, now it's gonna make the whole image brighter. But you can create some interesting looks with this one. So that's time average, feedback and trails.